Hey guys, it's Jack O.C. Um, coming to you hot from Lome, Togo, uh, West Africa, Africa. Um, I'm a mechanical engineering guy that just graduated last semester from the University of Nebraska. For my senior design project, I worked on a project that has an end goal of providing people of West Africa with clean water. Now, we got a prototype, we made some progress, but it's not finished and I wasn't satisfied, so I don't want to leave the project quite yet. Um, we found that it's kind of hard to, it's hard to solve a problem for people you've never met in a place you've never been in a culture you don't understand. It's hard to even know what we were talking about. So we kind of spun our wheels a lot all semester um, trying to define the problem, come up with an adequate scope for the solution. So I decided that I wanted to travel to West Africa to meet the people, um, talk more and learn about what the actual problem is. And so here I am, I've been here for almost a month uh, in Togo. So um, I've learned that people in Africa get their water quite a few different ways. Um, in the US, we're just so used to turn on the faucet and boom, you got clean, drinkable water. We don't even have to think about it. But here in West Africa, it's not really the case. You know, I learned that there's multiple ways people get their wa water. Like for example, here where I'm staying um, with my friend Abube in his house, we get our water from the well right here. So yes, uh, we do not have running water in the faucet. Um, we have to drop the bucket down here and then pull it up like so. So yeah, we do shower out of buckets. <clears throat> Another way people get their water um, is up north. Uh, we found out that there often there's a community well uh, and so people from a two mile radius use this same well and then they, they pump it and then they carry it however far to their house they need. When traveling up in North Togo near Dapong, uh, right by the border of Burkina Faso, um, you know, the villages that aren't even marked on the map, uh, those people often have to go to even more obscure lengths to get their water. Um, you know, some people get it directly from a river if there's a river available. Other people, like um, this one town we found, they literally climb down a cliff to extract the natural water that comes from the cliff, and then they carry it back to their house. But the most common way people get their water in West Africa um, has to do with uh, poly tanks. They put these big black tanks on the roof of their house um, or the just an, on a tower by itself uh, if a community is going to use the same tank. So what they do is they pump water up to these tanks uh, and then so now that water has gravitational potential energy to go to wherever it needs to go. Um, often it just goes straight down and then somebody can fill it up uh, a bucket on the top of their head and then carry it to their house. Um, so the reason why they use these tanks is so they don't have to run a pump all the time. They only have to run a pump for short periods of time when the tank is empty. Um, but the problem that this problem that this project focuses on is that these tanks, the water entering them doesn't get the same treatment that the water we get in our homes in the US. So um, over time they get real dirty. They get filled with mud and algae and essentially the water becomes far from drinkable and often not even usable for cooking or cleaning or whatever you need water for, I guess. And so the problem is, is that the way that they clean these tanks is by somebody literally climbs up onto the tower or the roof of the house and gets inside the tank and scrubs it down. Um, now there's obviously some problems with this and one of them is just sanitation. I, if somebody goes inside of this tank to clean it, and they're spreading all their germs, what if they have a disease? Now that the whole water supply is uh, infected with whatever disease that person might have. Um, another problem is that it's very dangerous. A lot of these tanks, you know, they, they, somebody can fall off, and in fact, somebody, people have fallen off and gotten severely injured or died. 
So the goal of the project is to create a device to clean the inside of these tanks without, um, without human interaction getting inside. So to automate it as much as possible. And like I said, we, we have a prototype, but we need, we're passing it on to a new group of students and uh, essentially to iterate it, um, to improve the prototype and to make it fully functioning, as well as to make it affordable for the people here. Um, now, like I said, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to act as a main source of communication for the new students. Um, you know, since I've been here and I understand the problem a lot better, uh, I don't want them to have to go through um, exactly what we went through. I want them to start off knowing exactly what they need to do so they can get it done um, and hopefully get it here functioning in West Africa. Not only will I be a main source of contact, but I've also uh, met, met so many people. I've traveled to multiple universities uh, here in West Africa, uh, to two different emb U.S. embassies, uh, and just discussed with countless people around here about the problem, getting their insight. Um, I have a bunch of different connections that are willing to help us with this, this project, uh, answer any questions or clarifications we might need. Um, so today, actually, I'm going to go, after this, I'm going to go to the U.S. Embassy here in Lome, Togo, and they're going to show me how they do their water treatment for the embassy. So hopefully we'll get some good insight from that. Uh, and then after that, tomorrow, I'm going to Accra, Ghana. Um, and there, I'm hopefully going to meet with a plumber there, somebody that you know is an expert in the field, somebody that deals with the poly tanks on a daily basis. Hopefully they, they can give me some good information, maybe get some more technical diagrams and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I, really, hope, I really hope you guys get as pumped as me about this project. Uh, I really want to get this done. I really want uh, people here to have clean, drinkable water. They're amazing people here. Um, so if you're interested, please join the team. Um, I wish you the best.